Good morning, everyone. Antoine Joubert for Micro Cup TV. We're in Mo Sport right now, Sunday morning, for the second race of that first weekend. And you know, in the past three years, multiple dealership, Nissan dealership, have been involved in the Micro Cup series. One of them is Alta Group. They own five Nissan dealership and three Infinity dealership in the Toronto area. The driver of the car for the past two years is Edward Wong with me. Edward, good morning. Good morning. So, uh, what, how was it to drive a Micro on a track and why your dealership is uh, proud to be involved in that series? Well, anytime driving any race car is a lot of fun. The Micro is even more fun than the average car. Uh, I'm in the Toronto area operating numerous Nissan dealerships. This is a very, very uh, uh, amazing way for us to promote ourselves. It's a great venue. I'm, we're seeing 100,000 plus people here just two days along. It also rally my crew and my employees together, uh, give back a little to the community and have a lot of our client and enthusiasts come and watch us race. It's fun, it's marketing, it's business. It's many, many things in one. We love it. You have multiple cars. Actually, you have two cars on the track right now. Is The competition is uh, tough with your co-driver? Oh, is it ever tough? Well, you know, the average racing, I've been an old racer for a lot of years. You race, you race, and you do your thing. In the micro cup, because it's such an economical series where nobody go spend money to go faster, you have five guys in front of you, 10 guys behind you, and one on each side of you racing, nose to nose, tails to tail. You can't have any more fun than that. So how's the, to drive a micro, uh, can you describe the, 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 the way the car behave on the track? You know, for little Econo box, and the, by the way, the fuel mileage are really good even when they're on the racetrack, believe it or <laughs> not, is that it actually handles it and it also behaves itself very, very well. Like yesterday, we had a race, race one in absolute torrentious rain. The car handles track, it goes around the corner, it accelerates, it does everything with uh, very a lot of authority, and it, uh, we all came home in one piece and had a lot of fun. The car is way above the value that it's demonstrating. We have behind us a, a micro that is not a, a race car. We can see your race car behind, but uh, there's a funny story about that vehicle. Oh yeah, it's a very long funny story about that vehicle. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Okay. So about a uh, little over 30 years ago, we had a client by the name of Karen Ackroyd. She bought a 1987 micro and then she owned that car for 27 years in absolute immaculate flawless conditions. So three years ago, Nissan Canada and according with my dealership, we decided to call Karen in for an interview about her experience with her 87 Micra yeah. after 27 years owning it. And from there on, something very interesting happened. Karen is with us right now. I, I think we should ask her about her uh, emotional day, I can say. Karen, come on. Karen, good, mo good morning. So you have your new car right here, your old car right there. Uh, first thing I can notice is the license plate. Why is it baby two here? Because this is how I got it. It was baby two. The, this car was called baby one. And that's why you put the, the new license plate on it. Do you miss your old vehicle? Yeah, a little bit I do. Yeah, I do. It was, it was actually uh, very impressive uh, to see that vehicle in that condition and there's one guy that is uh, responsible for uh, the condition of that vehicle beside you right <laughs> so so how was it to do the maintenance on that vehicle you know what she was religiously doing the oil changes every 3,000 kilometers or sorry every 5,000 kilometers whether it had 300 miles on it or it had 5,000 kilometers on it it didn't matter it was every three months because maintenance is key and that's the way it works with these cars the car has uh, a little more than 100,000 kilometers right now. It looks like new, drive like new, um, and uh, it, it's the uh, right now it, it belongs to the dealership, and it will stay in that dealership for the rest of its life. It's a promise, actually, right? It's a promise I made before Karen traded the vehicle in, yes. So if I do an offer on that vehicle, there's no way I can purchase it? Not for sale. Right, Karen? No. <laughs> it's Eddie's car. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can you describe me, Karen, the way the new micro behave compared to the old one? The new one has more power, that's for sure. Um, and AC? Yes, AC. 
a little larger than this one as I was used to having, you know, a smaller space around me and this took me a little time to get used to a little larger space and sitting up a little higher. And twice the power as well because it's oh, yeah. 109 horsepower against 56. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It doesn't take much to zip it, that's for sure. And do you miss the old one? Yeah, a little bit I do. Yeah. Glad to see it today. Well, congratulations for your new car. Good luck for the race, uh, Edward, and uh, we hope you're going to do a good result during the day. We're going to do our best. Thank you very much. Donc, Antoine Joubert euh, pour euh, la Microcop. Petit résumé, on a Edouard Wong en arrière qui va courir aujourd'hui avec son groupe euh, Alta, propriétaire de cinq concessionnaires Nissan, trois concessionnaires Infiniti. Très heureux d'être impliqué dans la Microcop depuis quelques années. Et l'histoire est intéressante parce que les deux voitures qui sont derrière moi euh, ben, euh, ont une histoire particulière, c'est-à-dire que il y a une Micra 87 qui est là, qui a été rachetée par le concessionnaire Alta. Et on lui a fait cadeau d'une Micra neuve pour racheter la vieille. Et la dame a entretenu cette voiture-là de façon religieuse. Euh, vraiment, à tous les trois mois, elle était chez le concessionnaire pour en faire l'entretien. Elle est dans une condition immaculée. Et des Micras de première génération, on n'en voit plus. Alors, euh, ça, c'est une belle petite histoire. La propriétaire est ici. La plaque d'immatriculation Baby 2 euh, qu'on peut voir sur la nouvelle voiture, euh, explique quel, est, quel était le nom de la première voiture, c'était Baby One. Et euh, aujourd'hui, bon, on a ces deux voitures-là. La voiture fera partie d'une parade qui va avoir lieu juste un petit peu plus tard aujourd'hui euh, sur le circuit ici à Mosport, parce que c'est la deuxième course de la fin de semaine. Euh, hier, il a plu abondamment. Aujourd'hui, on a une météo un petit peu plus clémente. Et j'ai hâte, bien sûr, de voir euh, quels seront les résultats de la course d'aujourd'hui. D'ailleurs, vous pourrez la suivre un peu plus tard en live sur la page Facebook de Micra.